There's a lonely, almost post-apocalyptic feel walking around the open but totally deserted New Horizon Mall. The only thing you'll see in shop windows here are for lease signs, hundreds of them. The stores here were sold like condos to owners who either open a business or lease them out. But those leases haven't been happening. Even the parking lot stands mostly empty. But the handful of businesses that are here are trying to stay positive. It's going to grow, but you just got to have a lot of patience and, uh, and you got to go with it, right? If you quit too early, you just don't know. You can get out of the shop now, give it back. Five years down the road, it'll be worth more. It'll cost you more to get back into it. At the mall's newest store to open, it's all smiles at a family event to celebrate a new business venture, a perfume and accessories store. The family even flew in a holy man to say some prayers and bless the store. I'm very excited. Uh, today we just um, did a mini celebration with Santa Baba Resham Sengi. Yeah. So what did that involve? Um, he's a visitor from India. He's our um, he kind of guard and he did a prayer for us. <laughs> um, all the best and success here. The mall's management aren't quite at the praying stage yet. They say the 320,000 square feet project will come good in the end. And they're happy to help that process along to the tune of $5,000. We're going to be providing a check for store owners, store owners who open up um, their business by December 31st. So this gives them an incentive to put some of that money towards build-out costs, uh, marketing, offset any capital expenditures to incentivize some of the owners to open up their stores earlier. The mall was supposed to have its grand opening next month. That's now been pushed back till next spring. Dan McGarvey, CBC News, Balzac.